Hello everyone, this is Prodigious TCC, that's Prodigious Trading Card Collector, and today I'm opening up some uh, Legions, Realms at War, Empires on the Rise. I am digging at this game hardcore, playing it a bunch, and trying to get some more cards. Um, so, I'm, I'm on the chase, baby. I'm on the chase for some cards. So this has uh, 15 cards per pack, and there are 18 booster packs in this, uh, in this booster box. I'm losing, losing my words. All right. So, um, don't know exactly what I want um, from the set. I'm not 100% sure. All I know is that I'm looking for some Renown rares and some Exalted rares. And if I'm feeling really, really, really lucky, a um, Elysian rare. If I'm only feeling really, 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 really lucky. <laughs> All right. So, let's just jump right into it. Let's see what I've got going on here. I believe it is three from the back. One, two, three. All right, so we've got some. I'm just going to kind of go through these and just any cards that I find really interesting. Like a dwarf, I will point out. I love dwarves. It's got frostbite on it. It is a good warrior to have. Uh, now, the only thing with the these ones is they don't have blast forge, so they may not work for some of the other dwarven cards. So we'll see. Another dwarf. Fortitude card, interesting. Oh, ale counters. I'm in. <laughs> Just gonna go through these a little quickly. Um, I'm going to read all of these. Yes. Okay. Dwarves. Uh, I'm gonna read all of these off camera. I'm really digging the dwarves here. All right. So those were two rares. Okay. Well. Okay. So not three. Not three from the back. I don't know what's going on. Wait. There are. 15 cards in here instead of 10. So things are all different. So I don't know what the card trick was. But I got a lot of cards that are very interesting. Interesting. Okay. So yes, two rares in here. Our two rares are Grim Grimoire, Chapter 3, and Oath to the Lost Messiah. So these are our two rare cards. Two rares, you say? So this is... I don't... This card trick will be very difficult for me. <laughs> Let me, well, we'll see on this one what the card trick is. After the rares hit, I'll do a quick count to see. So, it's five, ooh, so this one's a five attack and it has a blockade, which means it can't attack. There may be something you can do to get around a blockade with um, Mystic, uh, Mystic Beasts, but I'm not 100% sure. And then Hatch. Oh, right, this is an egg, this is an egg token, duh. Duh, Andrew. Duh. It's a token. It's a token. Um, so basically, when this gets killed, you can pull a dragon uh, with an attack of a dragon warrior with a attack of three or less from your eradication zone. So that's kind of cool. So there's a token. Okay. Um, Titans. And then our one rare is Duxvox Deprivation Chamber. Reading is tough. And then we've got Calamity Naga of Putrid Venom. Attack one with all of these, all of these uh, keywords and effects on them. So interesting. So this can only be played if your warlord is uh, Milady. Mal Malady? Malady. That makes more sense. Mal Malady. But it looks like Malady. If you just move the M-A apostrophe L-A-D-Y. Malady. Um, and it's got a Parish effect and a Rift effect. Interesting. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay. We will see if that holds true for the other ones. I don't have any other, I don't think, I don't have any other warlords than the, okay, yeah, so the first ones are tokens. Um, I don't think I have any other warlords other than the ones that are given out in the uh, decks, the starter decks, or I've pulled versions of those ones. So I need to keep an eye out for different uh, warlords and also different uh, guardians as well. God, these cards look so good. There's a veil. I don't know what the veil for heroes is, so I don't know if this is uh, different than the original. 
and then this is a synergy okay so getting some veils and some synergies those are our two uh rares not for the dwarves though here's another unified dwarf card unified dwarf card it's got bestow attack plus three interesting so that gives your uh my one dwarf warrior on my side gets a plus three when i play that that's kind of nice um, I don't know, I think Empires on the Rise have uh, new Warlords in them, I think. But we will see. Here's my token. Frozen, he's got Frostbite Dwarf. Very cool. And then we've got a Veil. Boom. And then we've got a Unify. That's cool. It's got like a cracked corner on it. Looking effect, very cool. Uh, Dragon Reflection Destiny. It's a unified. Hmm. That's very cool. I don't know what's. I don't know what's underneath it. Oh, no, right here. Can you focus? There's something there. I don't know what it is. Is it the back of the card? I think it's supposed to be. The lady from the back of the card let's see if you can got that halo there and the yellow eyes got a little bit of halo and yellow eyes that's very cool i like that effect that's slick as heck that's slick as heck indeed Ooh, a plunder hmm this is not a this is an ale house this is not a blast forge or a frozen interesting see this is a dragon so you could get this dragon with a hatched egg and the eggs are from an effect of your warlord or your synergy. I'm not 100 percent sure. I haven't played. I haven't played the uh, egg version of Mythical Beasts. Only the uh, uh, Phoenix Hatchling version of Mythical Beasts. So I don't know much about these eggs. <laughs> There's a Blast Forge uh, card right there. Nice. Boom, got our rare is Pillars of the Black Magic Fire, and then our renowned rare is, oh, a Guardian, nice. Uh, Sigrid, Avenger of the Lost Messiah. All right, we'll set that Guardian off to the side there to be, um, there's a frozen pickaxe, uh, to be sleeved up. So it looks like there are about two different, or sorry, three different um, archetypes of dwarves that I've noticed. We've got alehouse dwarves. We've got uh, so there's alehouse cards and alehouse dwarves. We've got the blast forged dwarves and then the frozen dwarves. So let's set that bad boy right there. Very nice. So our renowned rare. We've got our guardian. Um, okay. I don't have angels yet. I need to get. That's the last deck I need. Is the starter deck for angels and demons. So. Uh, Hopefully I get it and we'll see if that goes in there. Well, I mean, not hopefully I'll get it. I will get it, but. And. Hmm. Oh, I see a shiny card. Ooh. That's a very cool, uh, like sketch foil kind of treatment. I like that. I like that a lot. Here's our second rare. Ooh, our first rare was a dwarf. I was too busy seeing the foil behind it that I didn't even notice. Uh, ooh, this is a Dwarf Warlord. Sweet, so I have a new Warlord I can look at. So the my original Warlord is Quartzart, and he lets you... His special ability is look at the top five cards of your deck, rearrange them in any order, place them back on top, and draw a card. And the magical attack is to bounce one warrior and then four physical attack. So let's see what this one does. Um, cooldown, three turns. So the other one I had was a cooldown of four. Bestow plus one physical attack to Ethereum. So I can give her one more attack or do seven damage at a six. Wow. And the uh, for every three ale counters on your side of the field until the end of the turn. Wow. So if she goes with the ale hard. So if I can get like a bunch of ale counters on here, I could swing with her for a bunch of damage. Okay. That's very interesting. I am, I am down with that warlord. That is super cool. Her magical attack is deal one damage to all warriors 
on a target player side of the field and then place one ale counter on all face up ale house cards on your side of the field oh cool okay i'm there's things going on in my head with that card very cool i'm yes okay there's lots i'm thinking about right now i'm very i'm very excited to start messing around I mean, maybe an alehouse, maybe an alehouse dwarf deck would be kind of fun. I'll have to see how many alehouse cards I get. Very fun. What do we got in here? It's dwarf. Blast Forge, Melt Hammer. Oh, it's an armament, which means it equips to a warrior. This card can only be equipped to a Blast Forge Dwarf Warrior. Bestow plus three attack to the equipped warrior, and the equipped warrior gains the following effects. Each time the equipped warrior destroys a warrior by battle, you can return one target warrior on the field to your respective owner's hand. Okay. If this card is in your discard pile, I can eradicate this card and return up to two target cards on the field to the respective owner's hand. Uh, very cool. Okay. And then we've got a Protect the Glittering Grange as one of our rares. And then... Sweet. Okay, I will explain this card in a second. I'll set it off to the side, and then we will take a look to see if we have any other dwarf cards, because that's all I know about at the moment. We do. We've got a dwarf fortified. Uh, Bloodborne. Cool. I will read through that later. It doesn't say the words alehouse or alehouse counter, so we'll see. So this is a very interesting card. You can play one of them, and it's I believe it's static throughout the rest of the game. Uh, so if you have... Depending on who your um, so it says influence Michael or influence Castiel, and it says for the remainder of the game you can draw an additional card during each of your reinforcement steps, or for the remaining the remainder of the, I got I'm gonna move this so I can for the remainder of the game all opposing players cannot activate cards or effects during your reinforcement or end phase. I can only activate this once per game. That's super cool. I'll have to look into that more. Um, but basically, yeah, you can play the card and it's a static effect for the rest of the game. And you get very cool. Okay, awesome. I'd like one with dwarves, please. I'd like one for dwarves. I like I like the dwarves. Let's let's dwarf this up a little bit. Alright, let's see what we are. So we got last call at the alehouse. The alehouse, I see the words two ale counters. Oh, this is my synergy. This is my synergy. Okay. Search your deck for up to two alehouse drink dwarf cards with different names and add the search cards to your hand. Then if you do reveal the top two cards of your deck and add the revealed cards to your hand, then place two ale counters on all face up alehouse cards on your side of the field. That synergy goes with that warlord. Very well. Ooh, and here's another renowned rare, and it is dwarves. I am loving it. It's a guardian. Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> Sweet. Safina in Enchantus at the Alehouse. At the start of the game, after mulliganing, search your deck for one Alehouse dwarf fortified card and set that search card face down on your side of the field. This card can be activated on your opponent's first turn. Nice. Okay. Consume 10, so she has 50. I can consume 10, 10. If your Dwarf Warlord destroys at least one Warrior by battle this turn, reduce the DCM of your Warlord by X, where X is the total number of Alehouse counters on your side of the field. This is so slick. Alehouse is... There's another Alehouse drink right there. Ale, oh man, I'm kind of debating making an Alehouse Dwarf deck now. There's another Alehouse. There's Distillery, Ale counters... Ale counter. Baby, I'm loving it. This is so slick. I am. Where's that synergy? I'm going to pull that synergy out right now. I'm very, very excited about it. these turn of events are very nice. <laughs> and where's that warlord? Might as well grab it out right now too before I forget. Whatever. Okay, so that's set off to the side. And let us... Uh, Leave this bad boy up, or this bad girl. Mm, nope, 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 nope. Don't like that. Don't like that at all. 
There you go, our two renowns are right there. And that fits perfectly with this. And then my warlord, which is... Right there. There's a little, little something something for me right there and I'm... I'm digging it, baby. Digging that hardcore. We still have so many cards to go through. So let's see what else we can get. Very, very happy so far. Ba -ba -ba. Cool. All right. And shiny cards are coming. Boom. Okay. So we've got a bounty hunter here. And these are our two rares. One of them is a veil for angels and the other is a bounty hunter. Consume. When this warrior enters play, you may pay... Oh, sorry. Commission, not consume. Uh, play five Budborn. Then if you do, search your deck for one bounty hunter, bounty warrior with a different name and this than this warrior and can script the search warrior to your side of the field. Very cool. Um, mark and perish abilities. Very cool. Okay. And there, ooh, another alehouse card. I'm making an alehouse. I'm, I gotta do it. I have to do it now. Like, oh man, I'm this so freaking awesome. <laughs> Get a guardian, a synergy, and a warlord that are all alehouse. It's meant to be. It's meant to be. <laughs> I can't say it any more. Uh, I can't see it any more clearly than that, right? All right. What do we got for our rares? Are a warrior for the heroes and a unified for titans. That's a sick looking sword. All righty. I mean, we've got our two renowns, so an Elysian would be. Great or an exalted, but an Elysian would be phenomenal. Please and thank you. Ah, I've got a huge stack of wrappers that I need to get rid of. <laughs> All right. What are our rares in here? Move my hand down a little bit so you can see better. So we've got a who path to the Medonian magic. It is a bounty card, so you can play in any deck, and then a. Titan Synergy. Okay. Ooh. And then a third rare, which is... Oh, there's Malady. That's the Warlord that we... Was, okay, we, I've got another Warlord. Sweet. And there's some more Ale for my Alehouse deck. Very cool. Okay. I will pull that. I'll have to go search through to see if I missed any other Warlords, but that's two new Warlords that I've got. So that is slick indeed. Dwarf alehouse. All right, yep. You've, you've convinced me. You've convinced me. Bitter Vost Chasm. So this would be a, one of the ones with the frostbite and all that kind of stuff. So, I mean, there is a frozen adventurer. So there's a warrior for a frozen dwarf deck. A third. How many. Chance of four renown rares. Oh, you can get four renown rares in this one instead of two. There's a fortified uh, hero card. Sweet. There's I'm this set. It's the newest set, so like it's different from all the older sets. Very different in the fact that it is a. Uh, there's just a lot going on. We get more renowns, more cards, more everything. I'm very happy. I'm very happy. Uh, very happy with how this is turning out. So two guardians, which is pretty slick. I'm digging this so much. <laughs> this has been, now that I've like played the game a bunch and I know what I'm looking for, this has been uh, such an incredible, like super happy. <laughs> All right. I would like a new veil maybe. I like an, a veil for my, um, not, not for them, but synergy for the ooh, black magic. Black magic is a really powerful deck right now for the demons. 
I would like a synergy for, there's another drink. A new, a new synergy I think would be really good for my, or not synergy, uh, veil. A new veil for my uh, dwarves that ha somehow pertains to ale housing would be awesome. I really think I'm gonna go for an alehouse dwarf and see how they how, how they run. All right, what are we getting? Lord of the Black Magic, so another Black Magic. There is a warlord right there. Boom, another warrior. I'll have to go through these and see if I missed any, because I've just been I haven't been looking at the top right corner. So cool. So another. Warlord. So I'm thinking hopefully one more renown and then I don't know, maybe a misprint and the rest of them are all exalted. <laughs> See black magic soul, so I'm guessing that has to do with the um either the warlord or the synergy or something like that. I'm okay. All right, so a warrior or a hero unified and an angel fortified. Hmm. Not dwarven in the, no, not so dwarfy in that scent. Okay. I mean, I do have another bo booster box of this to open. So I'm hoping for some more dwarvy alehouse stuff from there. But you know, we'll, we'll see, we'll, we'll be happy with whatever we get. As long as it's dwarves and ale houses. All right, so we've got a warrior here. And another warrior. Those are our two rares. Or two rares for a mythical beast warrior and a um, titan. Titan. I remember words. I remember them. Ale house, baby. Ooh, demon of the darkest night. That's a cool looking card. I wonder if that has to do with black magic, the black magic uh, set. I do not know. Just quickly looking through it, I don't see anything that yells black magic. Like, literally yells the word black magic at me, so I'm not 100% sure. Two packs left. Let's see what we've got in both of these. All right. We've got our token. Let's hope for dwarves. Heroes and a, um, so our, we've got our hero unified rare and our bounty warrior rare. Some alehouse right there. Black magic. This is a frozen card. Forge, I've never seen that before. When this warrior enters play, uh, so when this enter play, the controlling player can search their deck for one dwarf armament card. Add the search card to your hand. Okay, interesting. That's kind of cool. That's very cool. I can search my deck for uh, something to equip to any of my war dwarven warriors. Okay, that's pretty slick. All right, last pack, everybody. Let's hope for some sweet Dwarven last pack magic. Exit the alehouse, there's another alehouse card. Death Bell of the Palace Putrid. Okay. Primordial pushback. So we've got uh, another Warlord. So that's four Warlords for Castiel. So I think that one card, so I, since if my Warlord is Castiel, I'd have to do blank. If my one was Michael, I'd have to do blank. So there's Castiel, sweet. Ooh, ale house baby. I love it. Some ale houses. And there's another warlord right there. Okay, I'm warlorded at the wazoo. I love that for me. Warrior, warrior. Sweet. All right. So I got three renowns, three renown rares, and the setup for a good. Alehouse synergy right there, so I'm pretty, and then a bunch of different warlords. 
So I'm incredibly happy with uh, with these pulls. I'm definitely leaning towards some sort of um, alehouse synergy dwarf kind of thing going on. So <laughs> I'm chuffed. What can I say? I'm chuffed. Uh, if you are interested in any of these cards at all in the game itself, link in the description to Legion's Rooms at War, their website with all the information. They have an awesome Discord where you can play. And if you uh, are playing in the season, uh, you accrue points. And depending on where you place during your points, you can get free cards mailed to you. Uh, anyways, thank you so much for watching. I'm so happy that I opened this and got all these awesome cards. But until I see you next time, have a fantastic day.